guys, welcome back to this Python series for beginners. This is the 21st part in the series, and in this one we're going to be looking at writing to a file using Python. So let's just go ahead and get started. So you can see on my screen that I've just got Python shell open at the moment. So I'm going to create a new file to be able to show you this. This is a .py file, so I'm going to save it, and I'm going to call this files. And so what I'm basically going to do is define some sort of string that I want to write to the file. So I'm just going to say text is equal to uh, this is some text. Um, and then what I'm going to do is add a new line character because if I don't do that then it's not going to know that I want everything to be on a new line basically so it's just going to keep adding it on the same line and you're just going to get a file with one very long line in it so that new line character just backslash n uh, is a special character in python that uh, python will recognize as you know you saying to python well i want a new line there so uh, that's uh, one way of being able to do a new line now we're going to actually open the file so how do we do that well i'm just going to say a file so file is equal to a built-in function in Python called open and then what I'm going to put inside the brackets is basically what I want the file to be called. So I'm just going to say file.txt and then I'm also going to add something else which is basically what mode do I want it to be in. So there's three options which is read write which might have been fairly obvious and then there's also one called append. So the way that you choose this is with uh, the letter, the first letter of those words, basically. So it would be W or R or A. So I'm going to put it in write mode because we haven't got anything in this file yet. And if this file doesn't exist, then that's fine. It's just going to create one. Uh, you can create one, save it, and then also write to the file with that name. If it's if it's already created, then it will just simply carry on and write to that file. So now what I can do is use a method on file called file.write and then I'm going to basically say text because I want to write the text stored in the text variable which is defined here and then I'm going to write that to the file and then it's also always good, good practice to say close and I'm going to just say print uh, finished just to give us an indication in the Python shell as to when it's finished. So I'm going to save that again and I'm going to run it and it says finished so it's really quick which is good. So I'm going to say, uh, I'm just going to look on my computer for file.txt and here we see that file.txt has the, the contents that we intended. So that's really good. But what if we want to write lots of lines really, really quickly? Well, we can also do uh, a for loop. So we could do for each in range. Let's say we want to write 10 lines. And then we could do file.write text. And then, again, we, we need to close the file. So I'm going to do file.close. And now we can run that, reopen it, and here we see that it's got 10 lines now. But notice that it doesn't have 11, so it doesn't actually have that one that we wrote the first time. It's only got the 10 that we wrote the second time that we tried to write to this file. And that's because in write mode, every single time that you write to the file, it's going to erase the contents of that file completely, and then rewrite whatever you want to write in that file. If you don't want to do that, if you want to add to the file instead of rewriting over everything in the file completely, that's what append is for. So it'll basically just append whatever you've uh, done previously to what you're going to do next. So if we run this file again, then we should be able to see that we don't just have 10 lines this time, but we've also got a few more. I'm just going to close this file and then reopen it just to make sure that it's updated and here we can see it's appended the the second lot of 10 lines 
to the first lot that we had already written, which is really, really good. So that's really how you open a file and write to it in Python, and in the next one we're going to be talking about reading from files.